Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 to 5 one of the things you must fight is called superstition many of us have a lot of our belief systems affected by the superstitions that we have held on to you, you, in our place that's a superstition about to come out do you understand in our place um, a number of women are like this that's a superstition a concretized belief system that affects a person's choices and decisions. The Kwaibom women are like this. In our village, you don't do this. Superstition. Those superstitions can become a limiting factor to the expression of grace in your life. In my family, we don't used to get things once. So while you are doing it once, you failed before you went. Now, you must not say it for the superstition to be established. It's just somewhere in your mind. It is your most predominant heart. Am I, is somebody understanding what I'm saying here? Superstition. Those superstitions, you heard it from your father. Who heard it from his father? And it has brought you into the place of deception. So it is impossible for you to see marriage working. Because somewhere in your mind there is an established superstition that has deceived you into error to feel that marriage does not work. So this your fear is a product of that superstition that has deceived you. Concerning what happened to Adam and Eve. Superstition work in that they can affect a primary individual and then affect others gradually. The Bible says that the man Adam was never deceived. And that the person that was deceived was Eve. First Timothy 2.14 But let's see how Eve was deceived. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made and he said words they are fighting you in the office you call your mommy and say mommy pray for me or pastor pray for me say don't worry they used to fight us normally that is a crippling effect to your prayers superstition it will, it, will, it will destroy the power of God to the minimum. This is how it used to happen. In this environment, churches don't grow. Oh no, there's a level of riches this family will use to end. How can you have this kind of money from this village? How? Superstition. And you know, it's not in God's responsibility to take it out of your life. It is in your, you must identify it. I've told you that a lot of thoughts pass through your mind. A lot of superstition, try to find the expression, but you must find the one you will take. 